Hello everyone, this is The Gaming Preacher. Got another combat mission gameplay for you. This time it's on Basilan F Aftermath. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I'm going to try to do a little sniping on this map. I'm using the uh, TAC-50 that I just recently unlocked. And I wanted to do on this gameplay, kind of like what I did on the one with the uh, LMG Heavy Gunner class, is I wanted to take a support role. Now I've got a uh, sort of devious reason as to why I'm doing that. Uh, number one, it's because uh, I kind of uh, suck at this game. Uh, number two, it's because I just kind of wanted to sit in the back and uh, try out this weapon, try out this bipod deployment, and uh, see if I could actually support my team and help us uh, on the road to victory, so to speak. So I'm getting able to get a couple shots here at the beginning, uh, of course, till I die. But one thing that, uh, if you've never used the sniper gun with the bipod deployment, same with the LMG. The thing that's really cool about those is, if you'll notice down in the bottom left when I deploy it, it, it shows a remote spotter. And it's a real handy little feature that when you deploy your bipod, uh, like when you're sniping, that you're actually going to hear this uh, voice come over. Uh, it would be, I guess, your radio, whatever comm device you have, but you can hear it uh, through the game where they'll say, uh, you know, enemy to the left, enemy to the right, target to your left, target to your right, or whatever. And that really helps you to... Um, you know, kind of figure out where the enemy, uh, where, they're, where they're located at. So it's a real neat feature, I think, this remote spotting capability. So I wanted to do that on this gameplay here um, on Combat Mission and just to see how well this would work out for me. Uh, I've done uh, not a whole lot of sniping in this game so far. I've done a little bit. And partly the reason I haven't is because most of the games I've been playing have been like Team Deathmatch or uh, Hot Spot. And really the maps are, are kind of small, the, the action is, is fairly fast, and I've just not been real comfortable sniping on any of them. I get flanked really easy. Uh, my little booby traps I put out don't always offer me protection. So once I rediscovered the combat mission uh, game mode, I thought, well, you know, this might be an opportunity to try sniping because the maps are a little bigger. Uh, obviously it's an objective game type and uh, the map sort of go in progression so uh, I thought I would give it a shot here. Uh, I ended up doing fairly well overall in the game. I think it's 22-13 is how I go. Uh, I make some some decent shots. Uh, I make some good decisions. Uh, at the same time I also make some bad decisions and I've got my fair share of bad shots. Now this TAC-50 sniper rifle has a uh, pretty decent amount of recoil on it. Uh, you'll notice uh, when I'm shooting and I'm not using the bipod good bit of jump when you fire so you have to lead your target a little bit you have to sort of plan ahead some but the uh, bipod makes a makes a great big uh, deal of difference uh, not only in the fact of the recoil being less but also the fact that you can reload uh, since it is a bolt action you can uh, reload for your next shot without taking your eye out of the scope and that is a great advantage uh, um, another advantage for the bipod deployment now, the objective is, is moving forward now. Uh, we're at the, the second one here, the B location. So I had to, uh, sk I skipped ahead a little bit there just to speed things along. Now, I realize here that in combat mission, you cannot uh, enter certain areas and you can't drop your support actions in certain areas. As you saw there, I was trying to bring in my mortar strike and I had to adjust it there to uh, bring it a little closer to me. I ended up getting three kills with it. So that's not, uh, that's not terribly bad. So hopefully that helped out my team uh, in taking over the uh, B location, being able to, uh, to plant that bomb there. So I've got another switchblade available. I'm going to sit back here and try to call that in. Again, remember when you deploy a switchblade, you need to kind of point it in the direction that you think the enemy is going to be. As you can see here, it is spotting uh, enemies. Uh, they're going to be showing up, hopefully, and highlighted for my team. I haven't quite got this dive bomb portion of this down yet. Um, I'm able to, to just barely miss that person. They either got killed by a teammate uh, before I dropped the uh, switchblade, or I just happened to miss it altogether. I'm not really sure. But the switchblade, uh, it doesn't really maneuver well. Uh, it doesn't have a, not, a lot of maneuverability. It's not like uh, some of the other support actions you may be familiar with. When you dive bomb that switchblade, you've got to be pretty much right over your target. Because once you, once you engage the dive bomb, you're not going to have a whole lot of lateral control. You're not going to be able to go left and right very much at all. So be aware of that next time you deploy a switchblade. I'm going to try to go around the back here. I see some of my teammates back here and see if we can get in the back of this house. 
Um, I'm able to get one shot there off, and uh, we've got another enemy coming around the corner here that uh, I'm not really sure why he didn't toss a grenade. Maybe he was out, uh, but I'm able to get another shot. Now, I realize here I am, wait a minute, I'm sniping. I'm supposed to be supporting. Uh, I'm getting inside that house with a sniper rifle. It's probably not a good idea for me. So I really want to try to get back out here toward the front uh, of the building that we're trying to attack. See if I can't sort of keep the enemy occupied, keep them pinned down, uh, keep them distracted a little bit so that our team can get inside there and, um, and detonate this bomb. Now the secondary that we've got on here, the pistol, uh, it is an automatic uh, pistol. I guess we would call it a machine pistol. And uh, against regular uh, enemies, I guess it works fairly effective, but uh, the enemy here has a person, at least one in the bottom floor of this building, who is running the ballistic armor. They're running the uh, demolition class. And I just have no luck at all of taking them down with that pistol. You'll see that I, I uh, die on several occasions when I attempt to venture inside the house there to either support uh, my team or either to try to actually plant the bomb myself. I have absolutely no luck uh, uh, killing anyone with that ballistic armor when I'm using my pistol. Uh, I am not a um, quick scoper. I'm not a drop shotter. Uh, I just do not uh, do that well when I'm sniping uh, for those abilities, so I'm, I'm not able to take them down with a, with a rifle. Although I really shot, I thought I had that guy right there, but I must have just missed. Now, um, you'll see the two uh, bomb locations uh, highlighted there on the screen. Try to be kind. Uh, don't call me too many bad names. But while I was playing this match, I did not notice that first uh, highlighted bomb location at all. I do not know if I was just singularly focused on that side hallway, uh, if I was focused too much on where the enemy was at, but even as bright and as obvious as that is right there at that door, I paid no attention to it at all. I was focused entirely on this one here. I tried to throw out one of my little uh, munition booby traps there to sort of protect me, but apparently I didn't throw it farther enough into the doorway. As you can see, there was a guy hiding there in the corner. The enemy is able to bring in a chopper, uh, but the, uh, my team takes it out fairly quickly so it doesn't deploy for very long. I'm still trying to make my way into this house over to my left, and I get preoccupied pretty easy here. Uh, this may be a case uh, like we see on Call of Duty a lot where the environment gets in the way of your shots. Uh, I really was thinking I had that guy both of those first two times. Uh, I ended up getting him on the third and uh, getting this guy here uh, with the damage assist. But I'm, I'm wondering if the bridge there it may, may not be some environment getting in the way of my shot. Uh, if, you're, if you know play, from playing Call of Duty that there are plenty of, of uh, stair rails that for some reason you can't shoot through. Uh, even though they're just made of wood and there's plenty of space between them. You just can't seem to shoot through them for some reason. So there may be some environmental issues going on on this game as well. Here's an example of me trying to take out the demolition guy with the armor uh, with my, my with my little pistol. Uh, that is just not working for me at all. Um, I, I am for some reason still trying to uh, do some pistol work here. I'm trying to get inside to uh, get that bomb planted. Uh, when I'm forgetting my purpose here was trying to be a support role. Uh, I figure if I throw out some of those uh, booby traps, I might be able to uh, occupy the enemy long enough to get in there. And again, uh, relying on my pistol, I'm able to get one booby trap kill, so I'll throw out another one. But uh, in the end, I get uh, occupied there and I get flanked from the side. Did not even see that guy anywhere around me. Well, finally I spawned behind the building where I wanted to be in the first place. So I'm going to throw out a booby trap here, protect uh, our uh, flank a little bit. And what I'm really wanting to do is I'm wanting to be able to get in one of these windows here so I can deploy my bipod. Uh, that's my, my real goal. And I spend some time in this room uh, trying to dodge bullets, and I finally get to the window uh, to see if I can do any damage here uh, with my bipod deploy. Uh, I get a few shots off, and for some reason just having trouble zeroing in. Uh, the the uh, controls are, are pretty finicky uh, when, you're, when you're scoped in like this as far as... Uh, my sensitivity is set really high. That's just how I play. But it still seems to move very incrementally uh, when you're scoped in. Was just not able to get it on point, on spot, uh, to be able to take all these guys down that I wanted to. I uh, don't even know why I tried shooting that guy. I knew he was out of the way. But uh, you can hear the remote spotter in the background uh, calling out enemies uh, to my left, to my right. So that's a real handy feature, like I mentioned before. Now, he saves me here in a moment uh, by calling out someone. 
Uh, I'm able to get that guy before he gets his switch uh, before he gets his recon set up. And uh, he he the spotter calls out someone here to my left that I really would not have seen if if he had not been here. So he's trying to get in that building there, so I'm able to take him out. I really like this remote spotting feature. I wish they would use this in other games. I think it would be a real handy thing, something interesting to do. Our uh, booby trap went off earlier, so I'm going to redeploy that. And I'm just really going to try to stay in this room for a while and see if I can't take care of the people that I can see up in the uh, second level. Now I realize I do have another switchblade, so I'm going to try to make my way outside. You'll notice it says no clearance. Uh, you do have to be in a certain location to deploy your switchblade. There can't be anything above your head, uh, anything that might be obstructing it. So I'm going to deploy this, and hopefully uh, uh, my, in my teammates will be able to see the enemy a little better. Um, help us to get in there and uh, get rid of that bomb location. Uh, you can see I, I bring in the dive bomb and I just have no control over it at all. Uh, I deployed it I think a little too early and ended up just basically wasting it on the roof. Now our time is running out here. I know we've got to get this third location taken care of so I decide I'm just going to dive in and, and see what I can do. Again my pistol uh, skills are just very lacking or either I was going up against someone that had armor and it was just not effective at all. Well, even though we ended up not winning, I really enjoyed the match. I, I really like Combat Mission. I think it's a fun game mode to play. Uh, we were able to take two out of three, so not quite good enough to pull out a win. Overall, did 22 and 13, which wasn't too bad for my sniping skills there. Uh, I do enjoy that bipod. I think it's a real handy tool. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, I've got a couple more if you haven't seen them yet about weapon ranking in Medal of Honor as well as the uh, discussion of the support actions available in the game. Guys, have a great day and God bless and keep the faith. Bye.